Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I decided to share with you today a beautiful cocoon cardigan that is super easy to make. Here is the beautiful cardigan. Look how gorgeous. This is my gorgeous model Maya wearing it for me. It is super soft. Um, the yarn, the choice of yarn is important. So you need something that is super soft to the touch and uh, to give you that super enveloping, pampering feeling. And also it is important to uh, take a big crochet hook, a bigger crochet hook than what is actually suggested on the yarn to make the stitch really airy and soft and fluffy. So yeah, all the adjectives for this cardigan are soft, fluffy, comfy, pampering. Ah, oh, I need it. I need you in my life, cardigan. It is one of the easiest piece of clothing you will ever make and I will show you exactly how to create it. I decided to build mine around a granny square but you could very well make just a big square as long as the measurement fit the size of your body. If you want to make it uh, bigger or smaller, you just make a bigger or smaller square. And then that's about it. And if it's for a child, then the opening for the arms will be smaller. And if it's for a bigger, larger adult, then the opening for the arms, the square will be larger and the opening for the arms will be larger as well. So really simple, I cannot wait to share it with you. I chose this super soft old baby pink. I also wanted to take that opportunity to thank you all for being so supportive and for all your nice comments and for just spending the time with me, swinging by my channel, subscribing. Mwah. I love you all and yeah if you need to catch up on uh, basic crochet techniques then click the link down below I would love for you to join my crochet family and if you are interested then don't hesitate to subscribe right here it's totally free and like that you will get a notice every time I post a new video every week so if you are interested in knowing how to create this beautiful comfy cocoon cardigan then keep on watching and in the meantime happy crochet for this tutorial you will need eight skins of yarn from lion brand and it is the wool ease kind of yarn and the color is a blush heather you will also need a crochet hook 9 mm some scissors and a tapestry needle for this
you are done at the beginning and you are done with your first round for this cocoon cardigan you will be crocheting in the round to create that big granny square that will be the base of your cardigan for your second round you are going to chain three again and you're going to work in the chain one right before chain one and in that same chain one space from the previous round you're going to make three more double crochets and just like that you just created a little corner for your granny square there you go beautiful 90 degree angle in the next chain one space you're going to proceed in the same way make another corner three double crochet chain one and three double crochet in that same chain one space now you have two corners and for the third corners, yes, you get it in the next chain one space. You're going to proceed in making three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets again. So you created three corners and then at the beginning, if you remember, we had created half a corner. So let's finish that corner by uh, making three double crochet in that same chain one space.
that is where I will create the opening for my arms. Take a measuring tape. I decided to make my arm opening seven inches um, long. So you have one side of your rectangle that is open and one side that is closed. And you're going to take your measuring tape and from the end of the closed side, you're going to measure seven inches and that is going to be the size of your arm hole space and the rest of the space you're going to sew in together and you're going to close it in. To know exactly from where to leave the space open for your armhole, I took a little scrap of color for the yarn and I placed it at the 7 inch mark. Time to sew both sides together now. You're going to take your tapestry needle and begin at the chin one corner stitch. You're going to sew both of those corners together.
and sew in the loose tail in the back of my work and proceed exactly the same way for the other sleeve take all the loose tail of my work and sew them in the back side and you are done my friend what do you think look at this gorgeous sleeve absolutely perfect i think it came out totally totally awesome it's soft it's stretchy it's beautiful i love how casual it looks and how soft and cocooning you feel when you wear this it is absolutely what i'm craving for right now for the beginning of the fall I think it looks awesome with a t-shirt and boots exactly like my gorgeous model Maya is wearing it and yeah super nice super easy to make a cardigan I hope you enjoyed this cocooning crochet as much as I enjoyed creating it for you I am looking forward to many many more and in the meantime happy crochet on the yarn to make the stitch really ha hairy no not hairy yeah, let's call it a cardigan. To make the stitch... I need to be pampered. How's that? <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, you get me, we get each other, right? Mm. Anyway, so, in that spirit... So if you are interested in <laughs> to get a new tutorial, then don't hesitate to subscribe. Yeah. Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. I've been away for a few weeks and I missed you guys so much i missed filming i missed sharing my crochet with you so i'm so happy to be back and for this week i was thinking of sharing with you since it is fall now i don't know thank you thank you it was so hot i love the cool temperature do you too i absolutely love that here in boston it was 42 degrees when i woke up this morning I I love it, I love it. Back to my Uggs and my sweaters and hats. So I thought today I would share with you a pattern of a really simple beanie hat that you can add a rim to and I thought it would be super cute to add two little bear ears to it too. So what is cool about this hat is that I begin by showing you how to create a very basic yet really cool because it has the rib crochet beanie hat then after that i show you how to create a rim if you're interested in some people like beanie some people like that little classic look with a rim so i'll show you how to add that if you want and i will also show you how to add two little bear ears why not it's super cute and it's fun for kids and adults too 